Hello everybody, this is going to be my last video of 2019. I've actually had this idea because I was looking, I was thinking of make, originally making a New Year's video. And I was actually look, got a notification on Instagram from uh, White Obama Daily. And he had his first story. I was interested, but then I got on Instagram and I saw that Millie Brown actually got... I had this post about her singing, and I, and I never really listened to her much, but I thought it was beautiful. She looks beautiful as always, and I have her on my home screen. Turned out she was six at the beginning of the decade. I was eight. I'm pretty sure not many people know this, but I'm deeply in love with her. So, I'm going to tell you how I was throughout the decade. This hat's a little tight, because I was... I guess I was a little shorter last year when I originally wore this when it became 2019. And I got this nice huggle, or huggy or whatever it says on the box. And this, this decade has been a very revolutionary decade. So, tomorrow is going to be 2020 and I can finally become 18. I can't wait to celebrate Millie's birthday and I can't wait to have a Ugh. What was it again? Yeah. I can have an the anniversary of my one year on YouTube. Turns out her birthday is February 19th, and I thought, thought my first video was on the same date, but it was on February 14th. Too good to be true. So, when I was 8 years old in 2010, I just turned 8, and after being in school, I figured out that uh, my parents actually got divorced. I was pretty sad. A bunch of crap happened after that, but and before that. When I was seven, my mom started working again, and at eight, uh, uh yeah, one second. It's really hot in here. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, it was really hot in here, and I think I should probably just end the video and start it over. But uh, so I was at, I was eight years old. My parents just got divorced. I was really sad about that. At first, I didn't know what a divorce was, just like many children. Of course, I didn't know why, because the only thing I knew that could have been some eliminated to that was from my parents arguing all the time when I was a kid. And, uh, I actually was pretty invested into YouTube. I first watched it when I was five, and now I'm like, then I was like eight, three years on computer, and I watched everything. I barely played video games, I played with toys all the time, and I was, and at that point I was just, uh, four years into HM, had our battery. And then I turned nine, we moved, my, my dad, me, Madison, and Timmy all moved to Ludlow. I was, my depression, like most depression, it started pretty low, but I was still pretty sad all the time. Uh, I had a DSI from Christmas, and the house we first moved in was a little small. It had two rooms on the top floor, which were really small and conjoined, and we had a couple rooms on the bottom and a really dirty basement. I don't really remember that much except for every time in the school morning, we would run down the stairs and see who would get on the heater first. Cold times. And then I was 10 years old. At 10 years old, I was very depressed and had like a multiple phases. I had like six phases in a span of one month. Uh, I was finally gonna move out of that house, I think, or maybe I was 11. Uh, then we moved to a bigger house that was next to Grandma, which was a street back. Mm, and, uh, yeah, not much really happened when I was 10 or 11 because those were really early school years. But I do remember fourth grade. It was the best grade I've had. It was easy. The teachers were nice. I made a lot of friends. And that was basically it. And then I was 12 years old. 
it it was it started like any other year for me at that point my depression was still going up it was getting worse and worse and uh, uh at that point uh I actually had a stroke that year and I forgot almost everything in my life I was at this party we were at my mom's family's house and I was outside and I actually had a stroke it was pretty painful and uh, after a bit I couldn't remember much and I couldn't remember past the day the thing that can only help me remember was staring at my comics and that was basically the only thing I had in my past except for a couple toys and basically the old house my mom used to live in or we used to live in and then I was 13 still had memory problems I was really deep into my depression and I started making less sense I was losing my grip on English, school was getting harder, my depression was getting worse, and uh, we we were still in the new house, which I kind of liked, but uh, Timmy was having like, he had like three different girlfriends at this, at this point, and uh, he was with Amory, then broke up with her, and now, now Daisy's back with her, but then I was 14, I started getting a bit of my memory back, and we went to the beach. I don't know if that was the year I actually beat Taylor for once in a wrestling match. So, yep. And then, I was 15 years old. HM started getting revolutionary. It finally went past the seventh season. It took like two months. But, uh, it was back on the road. It was season eight. And, uh. I didn't really have much. I think at that point I got an Xbox. Or maybe I was 14 when I got an Xbox. I don't know. I didn't know when Xbox One came out. I got it the year after it came out. And I had Fallout 4 in 2007, 2016. Or 2017. And I was playing... I was just constantly playing Fallout 4 for most of the time. And then in 2017, or when I was... Yeah, I was 15 at that point. I started playing Call of Duty World War 2. It was in November, and uh, it was almost Winter Siege, and I was just playing Call of Duty as usual. But Call of Duty World War II is the only Call of Duty where I master prestige in it. And then I was 16. My life was going up a bit. I was actually starting to become happy. Not Nothing really happened. I was a famous rapper called Lil Pipe. School was getting a little harder as usual. I thought it would be easier, but it's harder. Uh, I got a lot of friends. Uh, Zach Aroni came back. Jack Skin, I know we don't really like him now. And basically the first time I smoked weed. Probably shouldn't have said that. Just ignore that. So, and then... I also... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I turned 17. And, not, and this was the, this year... I was actually finally getting happy after being on antidepressants, and I wouldn't sleep in as much, or I'd probably just get tired at the beginning. I got a lot better, and I had no suicidal thoughts, and I finally had people to love. Or not really. I only have one per person I love right now, and that's Millie. Millie Brown. Hope she's watching the video. I love you so much. Ah. And then school started. August 18th, and I had this funny, I had this funny idea at the time, I was like, why don't I just make a school shooting meme, or post, it's a joke, it was a joke at the time, and I posted it, and then the next day at school, I actually was, uh, hmm. at the first day of school, I was, uh, I saw my eyes were a little dry. And, uh. Yeah. Turns out the first two classes were totally fine. And then at the middle of my second class, they called me to the office. And turns out someone snitched on me and made it a big deal. It was a school shooting joke, so I don't, I don't get the point. And basically, I have a whole video about that, about what happened. It was horrible. It, I basically made a joke, and it went 
spiraling out of control. I had to do diversion. I was sent. I was almost sentenced to a terroristic threatening. It was just a horrible, horrible months of my life. I spiraled back into depression. I'm still depressed. Maybe this year I could try finding, becoming happier with new YouTube videos. Um, my YouTube it is starting to come back a bit. I got 35 subscribers, which is nice. And I hope my 2020 resolution is that I get a job and finally meet Millie and become her boyfriend or something. So I can finally get a girlfriend. I just want to move on from my life and I just don't want to be restricted to two houses where I have to move between them every week. And I hope I can just get school over with. Ugh. Depression's a really, really bad thing to have. Well, see ya. Enjoy 2020. I hope you have a great time. Peace.